Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, today we'll be talking about is my Halloween predictions and where can Halloween go after this year's Halloween. Before I get into the video, make sure, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that like button, and make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on post notifications. It's that little bell. And let's get right into the video. I'm sorry it has been a while, but let's get into it. My first prediction, now this is my first prediction, is they're going they're they're going to make a sequel to the 2018. Now, me myself, I think it'd be cool for a Halloween 2018 sequel, but in reality, I don't think it'd be the best idea. Now let me break it down why I don't feel like it's the best idea. Halloween 2018 sequel. If Lori lives, if Lori lives, you're, you know, yeah, they're not brother and sister, but if she lives, you're kind of repeating, you know, that old formula again, you know, he's just after this girl, you know, but if you only make one sequel to Halloween, which will be this one, you may, you only make this Halloween to this I'm continuity, which is only Halloween, and then this one, and then that's good, you know. You really don't need a sequel to this Halloween 2018. You could just make it, leave it where it is, because there's so many timelines to choose from. The next one, Blumhouse might actually do it. They don't, they might not see a profit in it, but they might see enough fandom to go, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe it will be a profit because, you know, Michael has some resurrection in him. Let's get into it. No pun intended. Um, Halloween Resurrection, which I will I review on the channel, is one of the worst Halloween movies. But a Halloween Nine, a sequel to Resurrection, won't be that bad if you think about it, because it would tie up things from Resurrection. It would tie up things from H two O. Maybe you could fix that ending. Um, not the ending. The um beginning of um Resurrection, maybe like. Uh, Rick Conant or something. But that'd be interesting. To see a Halloween uh, Resurrection sequel. Um, that'd be pretty cool in, in my opinion. The next prediction I have is. Now this one might be controversial. I don't know. Now Blum has probably won. You know Blum has definitely won do this. You know for the same fact of. Some fans want it. Some fans don't. Will it be profitable? You know it's like rolling dice. And you don't know what you're going to land on. What I'm speaking on is Rob is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 continuing after Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. That will be very interesting because there's still a lot of story left in Rob Zombie's continuity. There's still a lot left in Rob Zombie's Halloween continuity. And it'd be interesting to explore that with a different director because Rob is definitely not cool. I'm returned. So that I think why it will be interesting in my opinion because you could get like get like a director in there that could take Rob's vision and mix it with just your standard Halloween formula from the original. Like it's called cool take hard notes from the original and but but feel like a Rob Zombie film if that makes any sense at all. But I feel like a director could do that and make a really solid Halloween movie to Rob Zombies and blow everyone away now this is my prediction and my ideal for a halloween movie is okay daniel harris she was in halloween 4 halloween 5 she should have been in 6 and she was in uh, rob zombies Hot remake 1 and remake 2 she's kind of like the highlight of the rob zombie movies for me but daniel harris is she's just as iconic in my opinion as I'm Jamie Lee Curtis's character, Lori. Now, this is an interesting theory that I have, and this be a good idea. If if Blumhouse ever decided to do this, go for it. And that is continuing after Halloween four. Well, what are you talking about, Kyle? That is you're keeping Halloween one canon, you're keeping two canon, but you're not keeping five canon, you're not keeping six. It's you know, Daniel Harris 20, 30, 40 years later, and you see Daniel Harris in the future. 
and you see what that event did to her. You see what that event did to her, like mentally, physically. What I mean is, Halloween 4 had a pretty good ending. Spoiler alert, um, I think it was her sister or her mom, I don't remember, my bad. But she goes up there and kills them with a pair of scissors, like Michael, like the evil is in her now, right? And in Halloween 5, they retconned that ending. In Halloween 5, they ignore what happened in Halloween 4. And it's one of the drawbacks of Halloween 5 to me. Um, if they made a proper sequel to Halloween 4, that will be so awesome. And to have Daniel Harris back will be even more awesome. Because a lot of people like her. I like her too. Now, these are just my predictions on where can Halloween go after... 2018 one now if you did like the video please like sharing does help make make sure you give me a big thumbs up and turn on turn on the bells right beside the um the um sub button and if you did enjoy the video make sure you like like i done said i do talk lots so i do apologize but let me know in the comments where do you think halloween's going to go after this and what do you think is going to come next? Because you know Halloween's going to make a lot of money. And that's another video actually I want to make. Is what movies are going to come after Halloween. Because Halloween's going to be a success. So what other movies will, will might be a success. Like Freddy, Hellraiser. Um, I will be making a video on that as well. But if you did like the video make sure you give me a like. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.